Hi everyone, Michelle Fixit here. Um, I just did a video on a lubrication of squeaky windows and I am doing a follow-up video for if you have a convertible or hardtop convertible, any type of convertible, um, and if you are if you hear any noises or anything like that when you're putting the top down, there are moving a lot of moving parts. Cut myself off when I talk sometimes. Um, and so for preventative care, every few months or at least once a year, once every six months. Put your top down and listen to it. And so if you have any of these moving parts that are making noise, the same method that I used for fixing the very obnoxious window noise that was going on that was just like worse than nails on a chalkboard for me, um, you do the same thing. You wanna make sure that your moving parts are lubricated. It's a common sense thing. Um, so what I typically use for situations such as this uh, is WD-40 Specialist Water Resistant uh, Silicone Lubricant. They have dry lubricants as well. Um, when it comes to the convertible moving parts, somebody's probably going to definitely correct me if I'm wrong. Um, using a silicone, you can use a silicone based lubricant that's one of the dry ones and you should definitely get one of the fast drying ones, this one, or quick drying. Um, this is a quick drying one. I'm a huge fan of WD-40 specialist products. Um, I use them in a lot of different things. I don't get paid to talk about them. This is just like, this is what I use. So I put the convertible top in um, non-cargo mode, which was a problem. <laughs> Whenever I was doing the window video, which is why this is a separate video, and I know I talk a lot, sorry, but it's just what happens. Um, so we're going to put the top down, and we're going to listen. Here, there's already squeaks. I'm gonna stop it for a second. So there was also a spring click coming from that side. You hear that? So this would be best if you had a second person to do this and then you say, okay, stop. And then you listen and then you fix the problem. Typically, I'm solo, so I've, clearly I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen while I put it in, in going up mode, and then I'm going to stop it, and then I'm going to start spraying parts because I hear very distinct rubbing. I hear very distinct clicking of a spring or stretching of a spring, and then I heard a little pop. So hopefully you guys could hear that as well, but this is what you need to do every so often because you should not be hearing all that. You should be hearing moving parts, but you shouldn't be hearing clicks and, and whines and stretching and all that stuff. Those are dry things that need to be lubricated. So we heard it, now we have to find it. All right, let's go. Oh, we're going on a trip, car ship. All right, so me being me, I'm going to just start spraying all the moving parts that I can see. And there is a fair amount of reach. I'm trying to find the springy type thing that I heard, but I'm not seeing a little springy guy. I see a pump here. And be mindful, that's the top of the car, right there. So if you get stuff on it, you're gonna have to clean it. And it's probably gonna be a pain in the butt to get it off of there, but whatever. Fun story. <laughs> My dad bought a Camaro. <laughs> oh, there's the spring. My dad bought a Camaro whenever I was in high school. And this is the inside fabric. Um, of the car, so try not to spray that. And uh, I accidentally got a little bit of, I can't remember, it was like tire shine or something. <laughs> and I thought it looked so pretty. So I sprayed <laughs> tire shine all over the car, and he had a heck of a time. 
trying to get that stuff off. It was hilarious for me. He was so mad. But see, like, anywhere where you have contact, like right here, same with doors and stuff like that, you just want to spray those bad boys. All right, so we've got a lot of, there's another little moving part right here. And again, you want to be mindful because there you can get overspray because this is the fabric that's on the inside of the car. So now we're going to go over here and open the door. Ow, I'm barefoot and there are rocks. I'm gonna put that down. Look at that, it already sounds better. Oh, everybody stay still. So now we have these guys fully extended. So we have moving parts right here. Spray, spray, spray. Spray, spray, spray. Spray all your springies. Spray your car. Spray your car. Spray, spray, spray. Careful of electronics. Spray, spray, spray. We spray our car. Oof. Ow. I should have put shoes on. Oof. We spray our car. Spray, spray, spray. Spray, spray, spray. We spray our car. We spray our car. See, so many moving parts. And there's another spring. So do I know which spring it is? Nope, I don't know. And so I'm giving everything a spritz. That looks like super dirty. Probably need to clean that at some point. Oof. All right. Back in the car. Oof. Push the button again. Everything sounds beautiful there. Oh, there was a pop of a spring, so stay right there. Oh, and his uh, sunglasses fell. All right. So like a little buggy that is metamorphosizing. You see how it has all of its insides opened up. All right, all right. Again, mindful of the fabric. Spray, spray, spray. Spray, spray, spray. We spray our car. We spray our car. My husband's probably like, why do you make these videos? You sound silly. Well, husband cat, I find ways to entertain myself. Okay. Oh, and look, we have a little clippy. Might as well. Look at that, it looks like a seatbelt clippy. And you're probably ow, 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 going to get need to get your car cleaned after this, or clean your car. You should clean your car. Because even if you're trying really hard to be good about it, you're going to get little drips here and there. All the moving parts and the springy guy. That is the cargo thing, so we'll leave that alone. This is where the little seatbelt guy goes in. Seatbelt looking guy goes in. So of course you wanna spray him. All the moving parts. There's some right here. This is right next to the fabric stuff, so you wanna be careful of that. There's a hidden spring. We found another spring, guys. And we spray in here. And here. Take more care than me. If it gets stuff on there, it's not a big deal to me. Ow, 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 oof. All right, let me continue. Oh, I heard another crack of the spring, hold on. Clearly we missed something. There it is, you see it? It's all stretched out right there. Just take your time with it. I mean, I'm rushing a little bit more than I should because I'm making a video. This is what you gotta do. You wanna have a fancy smancy, a flippy dippy car. You gotta make sure you take care of it.
Wait for the beep. Oh, it's not gonna beep because the doors are open. Because the doors are ajar. That's fine. All right, let's put it back down again and see if we have any annoying noises. I did not like something. Something still sounds off. Let's see if we can catch where that is. Hold on a second, guys. Why is this thing sticking out? <clears throat> I did not put this zip tie here. That needs to be clipped. Something back here is making a noise. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I mean, it definitely sounds like it's something from the trunky area. Oh, you know what? We got a whole gizmo right there. And we're going to give him a spray. I love the spray. In the car. Ow, ow, ow. Mm. Mm. People in the video are like, you did. Oh, you know what? I don't remember. All right. Well, hang on. We're going to put it back down. No, something. There's a big guy right there. We didn't do anything with him. So we're gonna spray him. Cause he may be the culprit. Let me get to him. You guys can't see, but I am spraying. This big thing right here, even though you can't see me, I'm spraying it. All right. Mm. That's your video on uh, convertible top maintenance. So, I mean, unless you want to pay to have something pop or make a bunch of noise and then, you know, you have to chase down the problem because convertible tops are kind of expensive to have people tinker with, do your proper maintenance. Lubricate those moving parts. That's it. It's not really that difficult. I mean, I took my time with it a little bit and rushed different parts of it. And I mean, we're not even at 15 minutes. So take 15 minutes every so often to look at your pretty truck <laughs> and uh, work on your convertible top. I will see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day. Like and subscribe to the page if uh, you want to see more random things that I have to fix because uh, my husband likes breaking things. He's a great husband cat, but he, does. he doesn't really like it. He just has got bad luck with vehicles. Um, and I like trying to fix things. So see you next time. Bye.